merge two pictures side by side with this free image composition tool. I'm Huey Poplock. The goal for this video is to end up with an image of four images in one. Here are the four. This is my brother and I in our 70s, in our 80s, when we were toddlers, and in our teens. We want to make all of those into one picture. That's our goal. Now the first thing we're going to notice is my brother is on the left in three pictures, but not in all four. And We want to make them all alike. So we're using Earfan View. So what we can do there is we can go into Image and we can say, run to a horizontal and bingo. Now my brother is on the left in all of them. So now what we need to do is combine them. Next, we want to merge two pictures together. Let's do the horizontal first. We can do vertically or horizontally. We can reduce. We can not adjust at all. We can magnify the smallest, reduce the biggest, or crop the biggest. We are going to reduce the biggest. You can have a thickness of the border, and let's make our border three. So there'll be a, a border, and we can check the color of what the border is. We're leaving it at white. So now we can choose the files. So the first thing we want to do is pick the file that's going to go on the right, and we'll make it that one. And then we're going to take the teenage years and put it on the left. So we've got those two pictures, and we're telling it to do them horizontally and to reduce the biggest. So when we tell it to merge, there they are together with the white border. We're going to tell it we want to download a JPEG, and it's downloaded it, and we're done with that. So next we want to uh, go ahead and clear this, so we'll just refresh the screen. Now we're going to take the two at the top, is number two, this one is number one, and this time we're going to tell it we want to do them vertically. We're going to continue to reduce the biggest. We want the thickness again at three. So the border is going to be white and we just tell it to merge. And there we go. Got the 80s on top, then the 70s. So we're going to tell it we want to download it. We click it once and it's downloaded it. Okay, so next what we want to do so we want to clear it again, so we'll refresh, get it back to where we want. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this image, we're going to put right here. And we're going to take this image and we're going to put it right here. Okay, and again, what we want to do this is do it vertically. Or do we just want to leave it alone? Let's see what we have. Do not adjust. Let's just leave them. And the thickness again is three for the border. And we're ready to merge. And we'll hit merge. There's our picture. We'll download it. And there's our picture with all four in one photograph. And again, my brother Mel is on the left on all of them. And I'm on the right. I haven't changed much at all from baby to my 80s. Pine Tools does much more than just image merging. Let's take a look at some of these things. Pine Tools is a website that offers a vast collection of free online tools for various everyday tasks. It provides tools for the following categories. Mathematics. Colors. Text and lists, numbers, date and time, images. This includes the merge images, but also many other items that you can do with images. Randomness, files. Programming. 
Pine Tools essentially provides a wide range of utilities in one convenient website, making it a handy resource for various tasks. Let's look at some other examples of tools in Pine Tools. Earlier we flipped a picture using Irfan View, but why not use Pine Tools? In order to do that, we'll say Flip Image. We'll click here. And the image we wanted to flip was this one. We're going to flip it left and right because we want my brother on the left of me. So we just tell it to flip. And there it is. And then we can download it. And there it is. Let's try some random choices here. Let's try a random number generator. We'll click it. Now, what's the lowest number we want? Let's say we've got a list of names. We want a winner of a contest. So we've got all the names and we've got a number associated with each one. And let's say we've got uh, 62 people on our list. Do you want to include the limits? That means including 1 and 62. We will do so. Allow duplicates? No, we don't want any duplicates. And the total uh, quantity of numbers, we want the top five. The type of numbers we want, integers. Non-integers means it will be uh, per percentages with so many uh, percentage places. But we're just going to have integers. We want whole numbers. Then, uh, do you want to sort the numbers? Uh, no, we're going to leave them in the order that they come up. And then the numbers listed on the same line. No, we want separate lines. And a separator. No, we don't need that. And so we're going to go ahead and tell it to generate. And bingo, there's our top five. 37, 39, 46, 60, and 55. If for, for whatever reason we wanted to do it again, we could say uh, clear and then do it again. Now we have 21, 46, 28, 62, and 15. So that's how you could generate a list of winners in a contest or just pick out certain people to do something from a list of names. Staying in randomness, let's try a password generator. You've got the choice of using lowercase. Yes, we want lowercase. We want uppercase. We want numeric digits, 0 to 9, and we also want some symbols. Uh, the length of the password, let's make it 18. And the number of passwords, we're going to create 10 of them. We want them on separate lines, and we tell it to generate. And there's our passwords. And you can download them, you can copy them, put them in a list, and then use them as you need them. Another that you might use on a regular basis would be here under Text and Lists. Let's try under More, and let's try Case Converter. Let's take some original text or some text. This is the regular text. There's several things that you can convert it to. You can change it all to lowercase, all to uppercase, up to title case, capitalized case, where the first letter of every word is capitalized, your sentence case, where the first letter of every sentence is capitalized, and then there's some others. So let's try first all lowercase, and then tell it to convert, and it's now all in lowercase. Let's try it again and say we want it all in uppercase and we tell it to convert and now it's all in uppercase we want it in sentence case and tell it to convert and now the first letter of each sentence is capitalized well what else can we do under here we've got other have you ever had the situation where you hit the caps lock by mistake and so let's go ahead and invert this just to show you what it looks like where this might have happened where your first letter is supposed to be capitalized it's small and everything else is capital you don't want to retype it all so let's copy this and paste it over here now what we want to do 
is we want to inverse the case. We'll go ahead and tell it to convert. Now it's worked the way it should be. Merge two pictures side by side with this free image composition tool. I'm Huey Poplock.